So over the past couple of days, everybody's seen the breakdown and the humiliation of Bungie so far these past couple of days. Today is Friday and people are still talking about the chaos and the destruction of Bungie as we speak. There's been a lot of streamers and content creators, both sides of platforms, either on Twitch or on YouTube, has decided that they're going to be doing other things in the meantime since Bungie can't get their stuff together for me personally I did that a long time ago in August I decided that my YouTube channel as far as when it comes to Destiny content it was it wasn't really there for me to make continue to keep making Destiny content and that's why I did a variety of other things to keep my channel afloat because I knew there was going to come a time that Destiny at this point as far as the game is not going to be there anymore. And for me personally, that's what happened with Bungie. It did, it decided that they want to fire the most talented people out there. One of the best composers known to mankind and decided to let those people go. Who's told the management itself that, look, we need to make some changes. We need to desperately make some changes to bring new and our old people our guardians <laughs> to come back and play this game. And unfortunately, like most CEOs around the world, they don't care about the, what the employer said. They are the employers. They're just the help at this point. Now, I've been hearing a lot of comments for the past videos that I posted, either it's long formative or even if it's short formative content that I put out, I've been hearing a lot of people's thoughts and opinions. And that's completely understand. There's times I will respond. There's times I will not respond because of course I'm at work and I don't have time to read everybody's comment until I have the days off. And I've read everybody's comments and everybody said that, yes, they think that, you know, Bungie made the right decision to let those people go, you know, because, you know, if they weren't making anything or making the game better, they need to be let go. Yes, that's understandable. In most corporate in most corporate world, that's how it is. Most jobs are like that. They'll let you go if you're not making the performance. But that's been years now. <laughs> we haven't had a, a, a PvP map in so long. It's been a while that you know, us as a community has been asking, okay, that's nice that you're making changes to the PVE portion of the game. What about the PVP portion of the game? You haven't made any changes to the game. You haven't made anything spicy for people to continue to play the PV part of the game. Gambit has been dead since it got released. You haven't made any changes into there. Actually made it worse. But when it, as far as when it comes to PVP, you haven't made no maps. No new maps hasn't came or, you know, has introduced since the seasons began, since they went, I guess, live services. Another thing that people has brought up into the conversations is about that, the live service that they have for Bungie. And for me personally, I do understand that I don't think live service really fit this game format compared to other game formats. Now, for me, when I've been hearing people saying that, you know, they need to make a Destiny 3, I kind of it kind of makes sense, like how we're going to have Division 3 very soon. I can't wait to Division 3 gets released. I kind of re-downloaded Division 2 and I had fun last night and it looks very polished itself compared to the other times. I don't know it's because I had a new graphics card that the graphics look a little bit better or they had some updates and maintenance changes. Went back in there and had a little fun time. That was another thing, too, that people has been talking about. Do you think that Destiny 3 would have kind of helped this franchise? Yes. If you couldn't fix anything in, Defi in Destiny 2, you couldn't do anything in your live services. I really do believe that I think you should have made a new Destiny to make all those changes work. There's been reporting that they didn't like that they waste all that money on that HQ. If you guys didn't know, if you kind of follow them on Twitter, they kind of post all the pictures of their new HQ. And I thought, damn, that's a lot of money that they put in this HQ. You got all this money to put in this headquarters, and yet you don't have all this money to put into your Destiny 2 and to pay your employees. As I'm reading through the comments and hearing what people have to say about, you know, they made the right decision, it kind of brings back to, you know, the days of the pandemic when, you know, my dad lost his job and it, it, it hits hard and it's still it's still hitting hard when somebody tells you you've been laid off because of such and such issues. For me, it, 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 hit, it hits home because you kind of understand those people. And that's why I don't really agree how Bungie did those employers, because it happened to in my household. It, it's, it's happened to me. I remember. <laughs> That same month when I'm putting out Destiny content, I had to make changes because my job was cutting my hours drastically. And like 
I'm like, hey, I got bills to pay and you're cutting my hours. And then you're coming to me complaining that you're, oh, we're not making the numbers. Of course, we're not going to make 90% if you're just cutting the hours down. And they, I mean, they drastically cut hours down during the time where kids were going back to school. And it was really hard for a lot of employers. And it was really hard for us as far as like, because we have a flex team where we picking up people's orders, people putting in orders. You got lines backing up to like cosmetics and they're coming to you telling you that the numbers are not at 90%. I'm like, of course the numbers are not 90%. You put everything in one day. I, re- I remember this like the back of my head. I mean, we had inventory in July this same kind of month where kids are going back to school, it, it, it didn't make any sense. And going to the management team and explain like, hey, we need some extra people to kind of like balance this out. They don't care. They're not going to listen. They're going to do what every corporation does. Either they're going to lay you off or either they're going to cut your hours and then they're going to come to you the next day complaining that you didn't make this, you didn't make that, or your area is not zoned properly. I'm like, I'm saying to myself, of course my area is not zoned properly. We have not enough people to like have coverage. And like you got all these college kids in here buying up all the dorm stuff for their dorm room. So of course my area is going to be a hot ass mess. There's nothing I could do about that except try my best to make it decent. And then you want me to like basically make my area numbers to be like at 90 and 100% and have no auto stocks in there. So for me, when I hear the people that Bungie getting laid off and they're coming to management explain that, hey, you need to make some changes. For me, I can completely understand. For other people, they might see it differently. But when you're an employer and the same thing is happening to you, is happening to them, you kind of agree to like some of the opinions that everybody's been saying on the Twitter side where they're saying like, that's not fair. And then you see your management team up there, you know, they're buying their, you know, their Chipotle and their Chick-fil-A and they're eating up there. And you're downstairs trying to, like, put the fire to the flame and (laughs) trying to contain the fire downstairs. They're up there upstairs calling for backup and telling you that they, hey, we need somebody to pick up these orders. And they're upstairs not helping. They're not doing their part, just upstairs looking pretty. So that's what I'm going through right now. And I'm saying to myself, even from last night, I'm saying like, damn, I'm like these Bungie's employees myself. Like they're upstairs and like everything downstairs is in complete chaos. And they suspect us to hit 90% because we're at 85. So it's, it's going to be like that through the holiday season time. We're not going to hit the 90%. Not right now. <laughs> we're not going to hit 90% right now. I don't think no store in the district is going to hit 90%. So for me, when I see these employees and I see what they're going through, I can completely understand where they're coming from. Now, now, now just to end this off, because I think everybody's kind of sick and tired of these videos throughout YouTube, kind of detailing and complaining. There's a lot of content careers out there are strictly moving on. And that was being in August when I had that issue at my workplace where I said, you know what, I need to move on from, you know, this crap, like there's nothing really new to update. So that's why I've been playing other games, doing other content on the YouTube platform and streaming other games. And when Destiny get their stuff together, maybe I'll come back in the near future. But I probably not because Division 3 is coming out very soon. It probably won't come out next year, probably come out in 2025. But I can't wait till that drops. And for me personally, to the other content creators who have a more bigger platform than me, I can completely understand, you know, you know, their community will understand that, yes, Destiny is in a stale state right now. And if you play other games, we don't mind that. I want to know your thoughts and opinion about the situation at Bungie one more time. I know I've been asking you guys these questions, but I want to still continue to hear the conversation, what you have to say. And I, if, if, if anybody's out there that understands what the Destiny, you know, well, the Bungie employee has been going through, I would like to hear those thoughts and opinion. And in the meantime, if you guys do enjoy this content, feel free to subscribe, hit the notification bell. I do variety of gaming. I will be playing Call of Duty, you know, in my spare time for the holidays. If you don't see me in November and December, that means the holiday hours are kicking in and I'm going to be at work most of the time. But in the meantime, I hope you guys have a lovely Friday night.